Schizophrenia is the uh, so-called mental illness where the person hears voices and uh, often the voices are very negative in their connotation and interaction with the person, causing them to even do things like perhaps harm themselves, so a lot of self-harm, or even perhaps uh, harm others, right? And the way the medical profession deals with it today generally is to medicate them uh, and, and that generally controls the illness is the illness I will also put in uh, quotations as well. What's actually happening is a schizophrenic person is a highly mediumistic person, number one. Second thing that's happening is the schizophrenic person is connecting to these spirits on a very regular basis and because the medical profession doesn't recognize, generally recognize, that voices in your head have got nothing to do with you and in fact most of the time are spirits. So remember here's you or here's your soul. Remember your soul is connected to your spirit body and your material body. Here's a soul of a person in the spirit world and they have a spirit body. They can connect to you in two ways. They can either go soul to soul connection which is what a celestial spirit would do or they will go in intellectual to intellectual connection through the spirit forms, right? And this is what's happening with our schizophrenic with schizophrenic people generally. When I say generally, pretty much all schizophrenia is this. So in reality, they are excellent mediums, but because of the the condition of their own soul and the condition of the soul of the spirits they are connecting with, can be quite dark at times. What's happening is the darkness in the condition reflects the interaction. And because they don't know how to control that, how, what's actually going on within themselves, med the re what medication does is medication changes both the physical and material bodies to the point where it detunes you from a spirit connection. Now most schizophrenics don't get fully detuned from a spirit connection. They get detuned enough to not listen to the voice or to not hear the voices clearly. But many of them do know that these people, that there are people talking to them, and they do feel inside of themselves that they are people talking to them and not their own thoughts. But the medical profession is telling them that it's their own thoughts. And that in itself creates a lot of confusion. The feeling they have inside of them is not my thought, it's something else, it's something else. Someone else is talking to me. So they told me to do this, they told me to do that. And all I did was did it, you know? All I did was do that because I, that's what they told me to do. They are generally also, schizophrenic people are also, they have an emotional set that's quite unworthy. So they have a feeling they have to follow what the voices tell them to do. And many times there's a feeling of power that comes along with following what the voices tell them to do. And often they are feeling powerless and so the interaction happens quite freely between the spirits and the, and the, and the person. So they are awesome in, uh, mediums, really, in the end. But because mediumship is not recognised in mainstream health generally, um, there's all these other explanations that have come up for it instead. There's lots of ways to help a schizophrenic person. One way, firstly, is to firstly help them understand that principle. Is to understand they are actually talking to spirits. Secondly, that they're probably talking to spirits who are not in a good condition. And the reason why they're not in a good condition is because emotions in them are attracting the spirits who have the same emotions and the spirits can easily influence them into doing different things. <coughs> and this is why schizophrenia often occurs after a person has taken drugs. So like they've taken some kind of recreational drugs like marijuana or some more severe drugs and, and there's a lot of spirits in the spirit world who want the connection with a person who is taking drugs because they took drugs when they were on earth and so they want that connection and they keep influencing that connection. And as long as, so if they understood the truth of what was going on, um, a lot of schizophrenics could be helped greatly um, just by understanding these basic truths of what, what, is, what is happening. So that's schizophrenia. Uh, manic depression is a very similar condition. Manic depression is where the person themselves are in a state where they're feeling powerless and they want power so badly that they'll almost do anything for it. 
And what happens is there's these spirits who feel powerless and who are looking for power. And what they do is they connect with the person and give the person all of their energy that they can possibly give them. And what that does is it sets up the manic phase in the manic depression state. And the manic phase is where the person doesn't sleep or sleeps very little and they've got so much energy and they'll go around for months, a month on end or two months having sex with whoever they want, drinking whatever they want, doing all these other things which are actually the things that these spirits in particular want to do. Now what happens is the body then, this body, the physical body, gets into such a dis depleted state that the spirits can no longer maintain the connection. When that happens, the connection between the spirits and the people on earth breaks and that's when they have their big crash. And they may stay in that state for as long as the body takes to recover itself from being totally connected to spirits for such a long time. Once the body recovers, they go back into the high again and off it goes again. Now, all medication does again is just detune the connection, but it doesn't stop the spirits from hanging around. So every person I've ever talked to with manic depression, they've usually got six to ten spirits hanging around them who do this as a group. And, and so one of those spirits might be a spirit who like, feels that she's missed out on sex on earth. So she'll just, she wants the body for sex, right? Another one might feel like she's missed out on drinking when she was on earth, so she wants the body for drinking. Another one might feel like she's missed out on being playing as a child, so she wants the body for handstands. Right? I've come across successful business people. To totally, yeah. All sorts of people are manic depressive, and it's all because of the underlying, underlying emotion. But when they get into the manic phase, now the spirits are heavily guiding what's actually going on for the person. And while that continues, right, they may do lots of different things that they would not normally do. So I knew one fellow who, you know, when, when this childlike spirit was connected, he would walk around on his hands. He was, he was 66 years old and he'd walk around on his hands all day. <laughs> now, when that, when that spirit could no longer connect to him, his whole upper body felt like exhausted. Well, of course, if you're walking around on your hands all day, you imagine the stress on your body if you're doing it all day. His whole upper body would just get so exhausted. Um, I knew another manic depressed lady who would get into this high state and go into rages towards men. And that's because she had this rage towards men in herself when the spirits were connected. They were all, many of them were female spirits who also had a huge rage towards men. And she would just go into this terrible rages towards men that would last like 24, 48 hours. And she, it would just hap it'd ha keep happening for a month or two months before she was exhausted. And then it would all just bottom out on her.